I would like to thank the European Lung Foundation for this award. As we all know, the presence of uh, green surfaces in urban environment offers extraordinary benefits. Trees and plants help to mitigate urban heat, making cities more livable and to absorb CO2 emissions and fine dust pollutants, making cities and our lungs healthier. For this reason, for over 20 years, we have been working to develop architecture and urban planning projects aimed at multiplying trees and forests in urban areas where the 75% of the world's CO2 emissions are produced. In our world, where uh, living nature is an essential part of the design, we try again and again to underline the importance of integration with the natural sphere, not only for an aesthetic reason, but above all, to improve the urban air quality and therefore people's quality of life in cities. Our urban forestry projects related to physical and mental health are examples we are extremely proud. And uh, the fact that it has been also recognized by an institution of this caliber makes us even prouder. In particular, I'd like to mention here the new Polyclinical Hospital in Milano that will host uh, uh, the world's widest green roof for therapeutic use and the Shenzhen Rehabilitation Center, one of the biggest rehabilitation centers in China, characterized by a series of green terraces. This green obsession approach was, uh, as you will know, uh, awarded by United Nations with the UN SDG Action Award 2023. It's a commitment and at the same time an aspiration that I'd like to share with you and with anyone who looks with courage and optimism at the future of our cities and the quality of life of all the citizens. Thank you again.